Joyce Sanko here for another BJJ demonstration. I've got Black Belt Paul Kalenda with me, and today we're gonna to show a really cool no-gi paper cutter choke that is kind of a tricky one because of the way you set it up. So, um, starting from top side, the first thing you have to address is make sure that the arm that's closest to you, you've already got it stapled, controlled, however you do that. So essentially, I've got this controlled already. Once I get here, what I like to do you know, when you start playing with this wrist and it looks like I'm going to set up a key lock or an Americana, Americana, whatever you guys decide to call it. I like calling it a key lock. I never can get these because I just have a really hard time uh, manhandling someone's shoulder, but they think you're going for this. What you want to do with this other hand, not a top grip, but a bottom grip, come underneath here, grab your own wrist, rotate your elbow in, and then take one tiny little step towards his head. <sighs> Essentially, like it's pretty easy to finish, but if you had to keep going, essentially you're underneath here and you're just doing this. You're creating this motion. So again, from side control, I've got this arm controlled. I'm gonna find this wrist, act like I'm gonna set up this um, Americana, but I'm actually gonna come over the top underneath on my own wrist and then come in like that really, really easy. Cause honestly, the second you've got this pinned down, I've got a shoulder pinned down with my chest and then all I need to do is slide this in here to cut off his airway, just like you would with the paper cutter choke in, uh, in gi. That's good. That's it, so there you go, paper cutter, no gi choke. Nice little setup if you can't get the uh, key lock. There you go. Guys, thank you so much for always watching. I appreciate you. Hit like, hit subscribe. We'll see you next time.